Hey guys, David Barr here with Berkshire Hathaway in Sarasota, Venice, and Lakewood Ranch. I wanted to talk to you today in this video about what happens after you put a contract in on a condo when you're buying a condo in Florida. The first thing you'll want to do is if you're purchasing cash and didn't already do so with your offer is get the seller a copy of your proof of funds document. If you're paying cash, if I was the listing agent representing the seller, I would make sure that I get a copy of that from the buyer to make sure that they are financially able to purchase the condo for cash. If you're getting a mortgage, you'll want to go ahead and contact your lender right away. I can uh, send them copies of the contract electronically and you'll need to start getting them a bunch of documents so they can get the loan process started. That's very important. After that happens, the next thing we need to do is schedule the home inspection. In our Florida real estate contract, we get a 15 day default period to have the inspection completed, but I recommend having that done sooner. And there's a couple of reasons for that. It basically just makes you look to the seller like you are much more motivated to get the uh, inspection done. You want to know if there's any problems sooner than later, as do they, so that they can take care of it, hopefully, and we have a smooth closing process. And the other reason you want to do the home inspection sooner is because once that's completed, you're going to be making an application to the condo association management company to become a member of their condo association. So you'll get a copy of, uh, of an application form. I'll give you the hard copy if you're going to be here locally in town. If you're going back up north, I can send it to you electronically. You can fill it out and they'll require a paper check. Usually that's an amount between $50 and $100 and that is non-refundable. So we want to make sure that the inspection is done and is the condo is in suitable condition before you go ahead and make these application fees. You want to make sure also that if you're sending the application fee from long distance that you're sending it with some kind of a trace. You want to send it registered mail or you want to go ahead and send it by FedEx. Um, it can take you know, a couple days delivery time to cut down on your cost. But these condo association management companies are very busy and you want to make sure that you have a copy that you sent them the documentation and the payment. You don't want to find out two or three days before closing that they never received it. So the other option would be to make sure that this gets done is once you get the application completed, go ahead and send me a paper check and I'll take that along with the membership application directly to the condo management company and I'll get a receipt for you that they received it. After that's completed, the last step really is in the hands of the title agent or the uh, real estate attorney who's doing the closing. They'll go ahead and get an estoppel letter and submit that to the association management. It's basically just stating that the current owner will no longer be a member of the condo association and you will be the new member of the association for that unit number. So basically that's it. But we want to stage these things in an appropriate sequence to make sure that you're not paying unnecessary fees in case something does go wrong with the inspection and to make sure that the closing and the escrow period goes as smoothly as possible for you when you're purchasing your condo here in Florida. So until the next time, I'm David Barr with Berkshire Hathaway. Look forward to speaking to you soon. If you have any questions, reach out to me on Facebook, contact me through my website, send me an email, and I look forward to speaking to you then. Thanks.